Case discussion. First year resident doctor's NIW green card application approved as researcher. Hello everyone, welcome to New Wayming Law Group's YouTube channel. Today we will discuss a recently approved NIW green card case published by the USCIS in which the petitioner is a physician in his first year of residency. This applicant, as a resident doctor, has not yet received his medical license in the United States, and he cannot apply for NIW, National Interest Waiver, as a physician, since that usually requires working in underserved geographical areas for several years. However, he successfully applied for NIW as a researcher in medical science, based on his previous research work, and the USCIS acknowledged that he satisfies all three prongs of NIW under the matter of Donisar standard. Here's how. For the first prong, the USCIS found that this applicant's proposed endeavor in cardiovascular disease research does indeed have substantial merit, because cardiovascular disease causes many deaths and economic losses in the United States each year. The USCIS also found that this applicant's own research work in his field has national importance, as evidenced by his recommendation letters, his publications, citations of his papers, and remarks by peers. For the second prong, which asks whether the applicant is well positioned to further his endeavor, this first-year resident doctor provided evidence of his past research accomplishments and expressed that he will continue engaging in research activities. While he does not yet have a medical license and thus cannot conduct clinical work independently, this applicant argued that he can advance his medical research work that does not require a license. For supporting documents, the applicant provides several expert references that use specific examples to explain how this applicant's work has already impacted the field of medicine. For one example, the applicant investigated the effect of heart valve procedures during implementation, noting that the results indicate that concurrent valve repair reduces complications. For another example, a letter from a physician in a hospital confirmed that the applicant's work can be used in treatment of acute cardiogenic shock and demonstrates effectiveness over various traditional methods. Therefore, the USCIS determined that this applicant's education and expertise in his field, record of success in publishing his research on medical devices, documented impact upon other researchers, and detailed plan for his proposed endeavor, as supported by documented evidence, satisfies the second prong of the Donisar framework. For the third prong, the USCIS noted that because this applicant is a medical resident, which is an inherently temporary position, a labor certification would be impractical. This finding addresses the question of why the applicant did not seek a labor certification from a sponsoring employer. Furthermore, the applicant's track record of success also shows that the United States would benefit from the applicant's future contributions, regardless of the availability of qualified domestic workers. Overall, based on the evidence and reasoning illustrated above, the USCIS approved the NIW application for this applicant. As we know, there are many foreign medical students, visiting scholars, visiting physicians, and residents studying and working in the United States, holding F1 or J1 visa status, who often do not have a medical license in the United States yet. Some of them may obtain U.S. green cards through the PERM labor certification process or through a special NIW program for physicians. However, these opportunities are often limited. For those medical students and residents who have research experience, they should also consider applying for U.S. green cards under NIW as a researcher. To learn more about how to obtain your own green card, please email New Waming Law Group at info at nwmlaw.com or visit our website at www.nwmlaw.com. Thank you.